Oh. So, have you heard about the writer's strike? No, what's that? No? Okay, so the writers are striking. They're like striking. The yes. Good. And I know why. Because. Because they're not going to pay enough money. No. R- r- well, I, yeah, I guess. But that they were always not getting paid enough money. Anyway, uh, because Disney needs a legal way to fire all those woke writers. Oh, it's all Disney and the woke writers. Right. They need a <laughs> Disney needs to purge the wokeness out of their company because they're making it for ten for five years at least. So Disney told the writers to strike so that we can fire you and they said fire yeah. you for striking and then we're gonna bring in new people that aren't woke. Smart. It is smart. It's just like it it got to because, this. Like, why would they they would just be like, okay, we'll get fired because you asked us to strike. And Disney says yes. Right. They need a, like a way to... Because because in either way, it's going to be a class action lawsuit if like Disney fires all these woke people. Well, so why you did it? If they asked them to get fired, then it's okay if you say, can I fire you? And they say yes. Then there's no lawsuit. Then there's no law- lawsuit. Also, if if somebody's yeah, it's if if somebody's on strike, that's not unheard of to fire them. Uh, no, so I'm I just saying that it doesn't seem like that's why they went on strike. No, they went on strike because it like uh, like I hear that it's a lot of the writers are barely making a livable wage. But here's my pro- problem: they were all like they were not making a livable wage last year. And in 2020, 2019, it's not like they their their salaries went down. They were always making the same crappy amount. Yeah, but you that's can't strike all. all the time. Eventually, it's going to come to a point where you have to strike. All right. Yeah, I guess. But right now, when Indiana Jones Five, after a three hundred million dollar investment, it's is going so to woke, right? It's so it's it is. <laughs> I well, I want to see how woke it is. I heard it was really bad. It was really woke, and they toned yeah. it down. But I'll tell you this. No, seriously, I will buy a ticket to go see Indiana Jones 5. I will buy a ticket. I'll say it. Because I just want to see how bad it is. I saw I saw uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull in theaters. I snuck into that one <laughs> in 2008. But yeah. uh, and that and that one was not good. Oh, bad, but yeah. I want to see how I want to see how bad it is. Also, Harrison Ford right is, now. No, it was just you, they swapped out Nazis for Russians. And you had Shia LaBeouf swinging on vines with monkeys and stuff. It was just way too ridiculous. It was so wacky. Anyway, anyway, it's not like I'm a huge Steven Spielberg fan. Any, like, anyway, he doesn't. Not all his movies are good. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, probably most of them are bad by now. <sighs> now they are. Yeah, I mean the Fablemans. I don't know. I guess it's just it's so tired and boring. It's just when a huge director like Steven Spielberg, he he just commands as much of a budget as he wants. And so his films get kind of like bloated, I think. Sometimes if a movie has a restrictive budget, it adds to its creativity. And he's also been doing it for 50 years. He has. He has. He, he actually has a anecdote where he met John Ford once. Steven Spielberg is like 19 years That's old. In the movie, right? With David Lynch? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Isn't but David I heard... Like John Ford? Say it again? Isn't David Lynch John Ford? David events? Lynch. Oh, yeah. David... Yeah, I think David Lynch likes John Ford. Yeah. No, isn't... Doesn't he play John Ford in the movie? The Steven Spielberg movie? Does he? I don't know. You look up at-